Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are unboxing, unwrapping, uh, some King's Casino chips. Uh, let's call that good for now. All right, so I just barely ordered these, pay for these with my own money because of requests on my videos. Yes, I listen to your requests. Look, there's extra plastic here. See this flashing? We talk about like quality control. And there's more flashing here. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera. Either way, right off the bat, I'm already noticing things. So first impressions. I ordered two colors that are very similar. I'm like the weirdest market in the planet. I'm the only person that's going to order like two colors because they look the same or similar. So this one is sold as, look at some, it looks like there's some damage here. These were sold as red on the Amazon. What's up with this? Are they all like that or? It's like they just got dropped or something, you know? Did the factory drop you on your head? All right, so I wanted to see how close the colors were and I would not recommend ordering the $5 and the 25 cent chips together. They do look pretty similar. So that said, Let's see, am I done with my disclosures? I paid for these with my own money. This tabletop was sent to me by Tommy from Poker Chip Forum, longtime supporter. Thank you for sending this background. And to you, it's a background. To me, it's a tabletop. And yeah, looking at these. So the labels are clearly different. This one is labeled as red on Amazon. It has the red label. This one has the brown label, 25 cent, $5. But my question is, if we mixed these up, would we be able to easily distinguish them? The answer is no. No, we would not. Um, when you glance at them quickly, they look so similar. So anyway, for what it's worth, if you're going to get some King's Casino, I would avoid the $5.25 combo. All right. That said, let's do some. Right now, this tabletop isn't finished, so it's just sitting on a card table. So it might be a little wobbly. I'm going to try to prevent as much wobble as possible. All right. Let's pull out the scale. What are you thinking? Uh, normally, metal slug chips weigh between 11.5 and 13.5. I'm guessing these are more closer to the 13.5 range. Now let's do a red 5 grams. Is that right? 13.4. Yeah, so about 13 and a half. 13.4. Yeah. 13.5. All right. So, well, 13. Point, yeah, right around 13 and a half. All right. And as far as width goes. Most chips are, here it is, it's out of its case. Most chips are 39 millimeters to 40 millimeters. Let's see where these fall. 39 millimeters, 39? It's always hard to tell. No, these are closer to 40. 40 mil, let's grab a $5. Yeah. Let's re-zero that. Yeah. So close to 40. All right, well, uh, something that I did notice when I was shuffling these. So let's talk a little bit about the chips. For starters, I'm not a huge fan of the design. I don't know about putting suited like royalty here. So we have the clubs, we have the spades here. I don't know about putting those on a chip. Those are on our cards. Why do we want those on our chips? I don't know. But one thing I noticed when I was shuffling that I really like is the texture. I'm surprised what this texture does to an ABS chip because some are um, kind of more sticky, like in a kind of like the sticky shoe movie theater kind of stickiness. But this, these have texture, so they don't, they're not like slippery, but they don't have that like, I mean, they kind of catch, but once you, you know, apply a little bit of pressure, they, they slide just fine. They have a good feel is what I'm saying. I like the way these feel with this texture. It's interesting this texture that they have on it, it really makes a difference. So I like the mold. So I like this wheat flour mold they got going on here. Wheat, is that a tilde? But you could say, let's just call it a vine flour mold. Love it. The big clear edge spots. Again, I chose ones that were super similar because <laughs> that's how I am, because I wanted to see, you know, oh look, the edge spots are the, yeah. anyway. The, uh, yeah, they look, the mold looks good. 
They feel amazing to like shuffle and handle for an ABS chip, uh, you know, obviously not compared. If you're in the Bellagio right now, shuffling some Bellagio chips, watching this on your phone, yeah, they don't feel like those chips, okay? They feel of plastic, but that texture makes them slide in a way that gives them a nice quality feel to it. But the problem with that texture is obviously, you can see here, it will be more sensitive to damage, like being dropped and stuff. And they, they probably, I don't know how well they're gonna age either. Uh, I don't see any label problems at this moment. And we like to check stack flatness. Yeah, that stack is not super flat here. Let's build this up a little bit here for you. Some stack flatness woes here. So yeah, uh, my first impression is that I like them. There is flashing around the edges, so kind of sharper edges. Uh, flashing is from the molding process where they have the um, two molds come together, and then you can see here, hopefully you can see here, on the edge there's kind of this sharp edge of like residual plastic. I thought I saw some like plastic hanging off some of these. Yeah, either way, there is kind of some flashing. Like you can see the flashing actually goes down and affects the mold right here. So there's a little lip right here that uh, you can feel with your fingers. I can feel with my fingers. Either way, you can polish those off, get a little abrasive cloth or whatever, and you can just you know easily polish those off. So that said, let's play a hand where everybody's in with their 25 cents and $5. That's a very realistic pot. It's just a brown pot. We're not gonna explore that too much. What do we have in the way of cards today? Today we have some chem cards. Let's use the black deck. I think I have a cut card in here. You can see the chem cards right here. We got some jokers here. Chem. All right. Poker Chip Forum, longtime supporter, as I mentioned before, of the channel. Patron. All right. Let's uh, get. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants to be a patron, look at how nice these chem cards shuffle. If anybody wants to be a patron, you're welcome over on Patreon. I, most of the stuff I post over there is like golf behind the scenes pictures and updates, but I do post some behind the scenes pictures and updates related to poker and cards and stuff. We live in Wisconsin, which isn't very conducive to poker. There is a casino downtown, which I've been meaning to get to. Do you guys want to see a video of me visiting the casino? All right, we have our pot. We have our player, Jane Doe, who we love to death. Let me have a look at my cards. So we are going to play a hand. If you would like to play a Texas Hold'em hand, there's nothing at stake. This is just YouTube. Come on, guys. We're reviewing chips. We want to see how the chips do, how they perform, if they're distracting. And grab your deck at home. Shuffle up, deal yourself two cards, and let us know what you have in the comments below. The best comments are when people let me know that they have exactly what I had or what Jane Doe has. We have the same suit. We have the exact same cards. Because we were, there are two decks here. All right, because you'll have one and I'll, do you get it? All right, I'm gonna stop explaining and just deal, deal the flop already. All right, here we go. Somebody's screaming right now into their phone or computer or laptop or tablet. Somebody's really screaming right now and ends off with a nine. Well, she's not gonna beat me, I can tell you right now because I have the queen. Hello, there's no way. Yeah, how does it feel? Two pair versus a flush. <laughs> Who runs well now? Who's a luck box now, Miss Jane Doe? I'll take all the victories I can in life. Well, that said, let's uh, move these over to this side because I want to put a big list of my patrons up here. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It keeps me motivated and keeps me going. Uh, I have so much to do. Like, I have so many different chips kicking around. I want to do some more comparisons. Though those are often requested and things that people like. So I'm trying to work on some of those, trying to find some time for those. So thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate it. Another way you can support the channel, if you want to see where I purchase these, I have an Amazon link. It's my associate link. Okay, so I'm an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. So you can go down and follow the link and you can purchase some of these King's Casino chips. Again, I would avoid, avoid this color combination, but get something realistic and something that you would enjoy. But I want some more time with these. I want to shuffle these a lot more, play some games, maybe let my kids chew on them. <laughs> Not literally, uh, you know what I mean? Just uh, wear and tear and see how they, see how durable these things are. 
But my first impression is that these, the texture, I really like the texture, I really like the mold, I like the feel of them. These might be the best feeling ABS chips, Metal Slug ABS chips that I've ever handled. Can I say that? Right now, that's my first impression. These are the best feeling ABS chips I've ever owned, which is a shock to me. They feel really good. Anyway, I'm excited to read your thoughts and comments. Yeah, just some extra blue plastic from the chips here. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments, memories with these chips in the comments below. I'm excited to read. If you have an experience with their durability also, that's something I'm interested in. Long-term durability. Have you played these for years at your home game and how have they held up? On that note, thank you for watching. I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy this content.